And yo, Shorty that got hit in the head with that brick. Y'all hold the fuck up and don't act like shit like this ain't been happening since the beginning of the time. Since the the, the 50s. The 60s. Go look at all the goddamn 1977 shows. Them black shows like Dolomite and fucking um, The Mac. They be knocking the hell out them damn women. Y'all think this problem just started a couple of days ago? Look. To add some context to what I'm talking about right now, I know it looks kind of funny if y'all looking at this video, because <clears throat> it's going to be a podcast and it's going to be on video, and on video I'm in a jersey, <laughs> but I'm going to get to why I'm wearing a jersey, but I had to address this situation with this girl getting hit with this brick, because I'm trying to figure out when the hell did this shit become our motherfucking problem, what the fuck y'all talking about protecting these, seriously, man, I don't know what the fuck that lady did to make that man hit her with a brick, god damn, bro, but you didn't have to hit her with a brick, shit, I don't know what the hell points you were trying to prove, but let's not act like shit ain't like this been happening. Motherfuckers, y'all see people getting mushed in the face and punched in the face in, in movies from a long time ago. They didn't just make that shit up from the air. That shit that, that actually happened to them. <laughs> Some real shit. So when this man hit this lady in the head with a brick, I'm really trying to figure out what in the fuck are we supposed to do in this situation? When did y'all insert us into protecting y'all? How is this protecting y'all? Because you the fuck over there arguing with this man. Look, I know it, it takes a lot to get a weapon and hit somebody with it. You understand what I'm saying? It takes a lot. Man, you got to go and get the brick. Right? <clears throat> you got to see me going to get the brick. There's to be a real reason why I'm going to go get a brick. You got to be looking at me. Lady, what the hell was you thinking about while this man was going over there to go pick up a fucking brick? What are you thinking? What's going through your head? Oh, I know goddamn where this man ain't finna hit me with this brick. Look, I'm going to reenact the shit the way I think it happened. This is how it happened, right? So, the dude, because I'm from the hood, and this, I, I'm, I've seen people. I got a partner. <laughs> He'll tell you right now. Try to holler at somebody in the hood, and they be like, Ugh, I ain't trying to talk to you. And the dude be like, what the fuck you then, bitch? That happens all the time. Seriously. True story. But anyway... This is what I think would happen, right? So, dude seen him, right? And he was trying to holler at her. He thought she was looking good, you feel me? But she just, you know what I'm saying, shooting him down. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, so he he he's shooting her down. I mean, no, no. She's shooting him down. I'm sorry. She's shooting him down. So, you know, he, he getting into his ego. Like, come on, baby. Like, what's up, man? Why you ain't giving a nigga no play? And she like, cuz, man, look at you. I ain't trying to holler at you. Fuck, you dusty, Right? And then dude probably like, Dusty. And she's like, yeah, man, you fucking Dusty. Bye, Dusty ass nigga. And then she start walking away, right? But then he goes, well, then fuck you then, bitch. And I bet you she was like, oh, hell no. Who you calling a bitch? You got the wrong bitch today. You're not about to call me no bitch. You got me fucked up. Oh, whole ass nigga gonna call me a bitch. And the whole time he like, look, bitch, you better calm the fuck down. Trying to tell you I'm gonna fuck you up. And like, bitch, you not finna fuck up shit. You not doing anything. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Go what, whatever. I don't give a fuck. And you're like, look, I'm trying to tell you, bitch. Leave me the fuck alone. Now, Oh, motherfucker, you call me a bitch, so I'm finna get in your shit. And dude was like, fuck this, man. Get the fuck out of my face, right? And then she pushed him. She pushed him in the back of the head. And you look at him. He's like, all right, all right, bitch. You got you got the right one today. And he walked over there and picked up a fucking brick. And she's like, uh-huh. I don't know what you think you're going to do with that brick. You ain't finna do shit with that brick. And he came over there to her. And he's like, bitch, I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to fuck you over with this brick. And she's like, you ain't finna do nothing with that brick, you bitch-ass nigga. And that's Boom, that right there triggered, triggered every, every time a woman in his life has called him a bitch ass nigga or then treated him like he ain't shit from his mama on to his very first girlfriend or the very first girl he met in school. And that motherfucker hit that bitch in the head with that brick. <laughs> He hit that bitch in the head with the brick. Oh my God! Look, I wish there is a video that comes out to show all that happened, like leading up to that shit. I would love to see it. I'm, look, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I would love to see it because, oh my, listen, a brick. <laughs> Let me do this real quick. A brick. My dude, he, he hit this woman in the head with a goddamn brick, man. You could have killed that lady. I don't care what the hell. Look, okay, you, you can be mad, but I'm telling y'all. <clears throat> all them women in his life that had done him dirty, he saw them before he hit her with that goddamn brick. He saw all of them bitches. He's like, bitches keep 
talking shit about me and just bam and just knocked the shit out there. Man, God damn, bro. He hit her very hard because if y'all ain't seen that lady's head, she looked like she got another head growing from the side of her shit. It's just like she, her shit looked like my headphone and my headphone was right here. If y'all can see this, look, that's how it look. <laughs> Yo, that boy forget the lady there with a brick. Oh, my God. When you try to kill her. God damn. Why you do that to that lady? Oh, and then you should see her. She going out. I have never done anything to anybody in my life. I don't know why somebody would do this to me. Bitch, you had to do something to this man. Seriously. I've seen situations where people... Be like, well, fuck you then, bitch. And that's all it is. Or they just shout back and forth and somebody break that shit up. Right? Somebody breaks it up. I don't know who the hell was standing around. I don't know what you expecting for, for men to do or anybody in this situation. I don't know why the fuck you try to call out men. Because when I seen the video, I see some women out there too. So fuck that. Ain't nobody come help this goddamn lady. You want to know why? Because it was a, 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 a whatever, a dispute, a disagreement between two fucking people that don't involve any of us. Mind your motherfucking business. Bitch, don't be running over there trying to save nobody. What the hell are you talking about? Let's get real on this microphone. Let's get real. This ain't about protecting no fucking body. That's what, this is a fucking narrative they're trying to create. Because I protect my wife and she knows this. And we're not going to walk in areas where shit like that could possibly happen. Bitch, you what? And about. Matter of fact, why the fuck is your man? <laughs> why you ain't at home with him? Somebody trying to get you off these streets, but you don't want to fuck with him. I mean, he probably approached your own. He probably looked dusty. I don't know. You probably just wasn't really feeling him, you know? But I bet you if his ass walked around the corner and, and got in a fucking Lamborghini, I bet you changed your fucking mind. Probably wouldn't got hit in the head with a brick den. <laughs> look, man, look. If y'all gonna be out there, women, and... Y'all fear y'all lives from these dudes when they come at y'all like how they do. Look, just get a motherfucker a fake phone number. Seriously, just give him a fake phone number. I don't understand. You finna put yourself through some shit. If, if he even looks like he gonna fucking act ignorant, just be like, oh, well, I got a boyfriend, but that ain't that don't mean nothing. You know, like we be on and off. So I'll give you my phone number and then fucking get the fuck up out of there. Tell him you'll tell him and get his phone number, too. Get his, let him, let, you, let him know that you're interested and he'll walk away as opposed to you not trying. Because he gonna be like, oh, well, you didn't get my phone number. You know what I'm saying? And then that's going to start another, it's going to trigger another thought in this dude's head. Look, I'm trying to tell you I'm a man. And this is how these men think when they got trauma, when they got issues. That's what y'all dealing with out there. I told my wife because she told me, she was like, man, I'm glad I ain't single because this shit just so, it looks so hard for people out there in the world. To find people. <clears throat> no, that's not the case. It's not about finding people. It's about finding the sane motherfucker. It's about finding somebody that's, that has some goddamn sense. That's what it's about. You can be with anybody. All the people that we talk about that are single, it ain't like they, they ain't fucking. They fucking somebody. They just don't want to be with them. Why they sitting out there trying to find somebody that got their motherfucking mind right. But how, how you gonna find somebody that they got their mind right when your shit ain't right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But like, anyway. Because I was going to go somewhere else and I don't want to go there. I'm, I'm staying on this. <laughs> and this is something where I'm like, what the hell are we supposed to do? Because she's like, all these men were standing around. Like, did you want them to do something before, in the middle, or after? Like, give me some... Give me your expectations of what you expect the man to do in this situation. Because I'm trying to, this protecting black women shit, it's stupid. Because we protect our women. Understand what I'm saying? We protect our women. My wife. You, you dig what I'm saying? Protect my wife. I protect my family. So now I got to go and protect fucking you? Where's your dude? Oh, I get it. You, you don't need no man. I'm independent. I don't need none of that shit. Da, da, da. Fuck all that, bro. Yes, you do. Yeah, the fuck you do. It's some, it's some shit at the top of the counter that you cannot reach. And it's some shit at the bottom of the counter that we can't reach. That's why we reach together. You got to find somebody to reach with. And that man tried. 
but he got so much trauma from all the women that had dissed him throughout his life. He decided to fuck you up and he, just, he decided to fuck you up because you started fucking round off at the mouth. Sorry to say it, but that's how a man sees it. A man see that shit as you running off at the motherfucking mouth right now. I'm going to keep it real with you. And he like, shut your motherfucking ass up. That's why old buddy punched that lady in the face at the at the uh, the fast food restaurant. He told her. He was like, I'm trying to tell you. Keep saying that. I'm gonna hit you. Look, the man told her, you're not going to tell somebody what you're going to do if you've never done it before. And you have the means to do it. The motherfucker's fist was balled up. I know y'all seen them. He told her to shut the hell up. He was going to knock her ass out. But she don't know how to shut the fuck up. She know goddamn well what's going to happen next. Y'all watch enough. Y'all watch enough world star to know that these motherfucking unstable ass men is ready to blow up on all of y'all bitches because they can't handle situations with other men. Oh, I just said something. <clears throat> they can't handle situations with other men. That's why they behave the way that they do with y'all women. Because y'all are weaker and inferior to them. They ain't about to do that shit to no other man. And if they do, they just going to shoot them. <laughs> and that's why you got them people out there. That, them boys is wild. They just going to shoot you. And they got bloodlust now. Like Bishop from Juice. Bishop wasn't about that shit. Seriously. Bishop only talked shit to Ryder Mass because he knew Raheem and him had his back. You saw he ain't start spitting none of that hot shit with them until he looked over Ryder Mass's shoulder and seen his boys coming. Then he started fucking running off at the mouth. That's what the fuck you dealing with out there, women. That's what type of dude y'all dealing with out there. That motherfucker that's waiting for somebody to see what he's about to do. So they can come and help his ass. That's what the fuck y'all dealing with, ladies. That sad ass man. That ain't finna pop off on nothing that he know he can't beat. And he know he can beat you and that's why he behaved the way that he do with you. Or he's shooting motherfuckers. I am on this microphone spitting today. If y'all really feel me, please hit that follow button for your boy. Cause I'm going in today. I'm really serious about this shit. I cannot believe that this bitch thinks somebody should come over there and fucking come to her aid when a nigga to hit her in the head with a brick. What the fuck he finna do when he see my ass running up over there? Hey, man, don't do that shit. What's wrong with you, bro? That's a female. You know what the fuck he gonna say? Nigga, fuck you, nigga. I fucking hit you with a brick, too. And then what I'm gonna do if I'm not in my right mind? Because I'm still dealing with mommy, mommy issues, too. I'm going to be like, bitch, you ain't finna hit nobody now. You hit that bitch with a brick, but you ain't about to hit me, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? Now we just got two hostile, volatile ass niggas, and now we finna see some shots fired off. Fire up the block. Y'all ain't thinking about that shit. Bitch, you want somebody to come over there and help you and do what? Die? You want me to fuck come over here and die trying to save your ass because you don't know how to shut the fuck up and walk off? What the fuck? I don't, look, man, what the fuck he going to do? Grab you? Because if he grab you, then that's when somebody going to have to step in. Because they're going to be like, hey, yo, bro, chill out. Chill. Baby. They chill, bro. Let her, let her go. You see what I'm saying? Don't fucking start talking shit. I bet there's a lot of women out there like, no, what you mean? I, I should be. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all the rules of the motherfucking game. Unwritten rules. You know, like the shit they be talking about in basketball. Like when the score is like 105 to like 80 and a nigga go score is like Three seconds on the clock, and they get they get mad at him. It's like nigga, I don't give a fuck. We winning. <laughs> what you want us to? I don't give a fuck. We beat y'all ass. I'm gonna continue to keep beating y'all ass. How you think we got the score up so high? <laughs> so I want you to know every time that you motherfucking step into a rating with me, I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass every time, and I don't care about no rules. So the rules. And you have to follow them. There has to be a plan that you have to follow so you don't get fucked up by these highly volatile ass niggas. And let's talk about it for a second. Like I just said, the motherfucker, you got options. You could either give him a fake phone number and move on. And act like you don't hear that motherfucker. Now, if you do that, he going to get mad. So I'm telling you, 
please acknowledge him. Because <laughs> that's what this man wants. He's trying to be acknowledged. And you acknowledge him in a way that he does not like. And you embarrassed him in front of all these fucking people out here. <clears throat> Come on now, he's insecure. The motherfucker's insecure. That was that what you're dealing with? A, a, a highly volatile, insecure-ass black man with mommy issues. <laughs> and daddy wasn't there for me. I mean, that, that's what the fuck y'all dealing with. That's what that was. That motherfucker ain't come from a two-parent household with both parents then graduated from college and then got good jobs. <laughs> that ain't where the fuck he came from. Not hitting nobody in no head with no fucking brick. Your mom and daddy didn't teach you to hit nobody in no fucking head with no goddamn brick. Especially not no woman. The hell's wrong with you? They didn't teach you that shit. Especially not grandma. You don't got grandma. Y'all don't got grandmas. Because grandmas will tell your dumb ass, what the hell? Look, my daddy told me. This is what my daddy told me. God rest his soul. My daddy said, you should never hit a woman. Unless that bitch makes you bleed. That's what my daddy told me. And my daddy does not curse. He didn't curse when he, I'm telling you. He only cursed by two, three times. Two times I heard in my lifetime. That time and when my brother had fucked up the car. He cussed his ass off then. There was a lot of motherfuckers that day. But that's the only time. <laughs> my daddy say, don't put your hands on a woman like that unless she make you bleed. Right? Now, he ain't say beat the bitch up. But it's like, you got to get her away from you. Because if a woman, is, if she makes you bleed, she's trying to really hurt you. She could possibly kill you. And you got to defend yourself. We got to think about this. It's, there's a... There's a place and time for everything. And if a bitch is trying to kill you, you got every right in the world to knock her ass out. You better do it. <laughs> or you're going to be on the fucking 8 o'clock news. Your ass is dead. You the unstable woman and fuck your ass up. You know, I'm, it, come on, man. I'm trying to tell you that was a time and place to do that shit. And that wasn't the time. Especially not the way he did it. Not with no goddamn brick. They need to find your ass. That's what needs to happen. So we need to stop talking about that shit. The fact that that, that happened. And let's talk about what happens next. Because I don't know what the hell this bitch thought that they was going to go over there and do. And get shot the fuck up with some dumb shit like that. But where the hell is this man? We got to get him off the streets. This motherfucker hitting people in the head with bricks. Because they don't want to give him the phone number. <laughs> Can you imagine this? Hey man, it's a nigga outside hitting niggas in the head with bricks. Cause you, if you don't give me your phone number, I suggest all y'all bitches give that man y'all phone number. Or you gonna get hit in the head with a brick? Everybody gonna be lined up. They gonna have a fucking phone number pinned on their chest when they walking through the hood. <laughs> and whoever this motherfucker is, we need to bring justice to him. Did you see this lady's head? Oh my god, it was fucked up. <laughs> Hey, man, a motherfucker that does some shit like that, bro, you don't want to mess with him. You don't want to mess with him, man. He grabs weapons in a non-violent situation. The man grabbed a lethal weapon in a non-violent situation. Are y'all hearing me right now? This motherfucker, what was your intentions? Seriously, were you trying to knock her ass out? This motherfucker hit in the head with a brick and she walking around talking shit. <laughs> Talking shit to everybody out there. Oh, y'all. Y'all ain't shit. If y'all ain't seen that video of her doing that, tell, listen, man. Because I, <laughs> I got a different perspective on a lot of things. I see it from her perspective, too. But I see it from that man that hit it with the brick. I see it from the crowd. And I see it from myself. I'm telling y'all, you got to see it from all angles. Because she got hit with the bystander effect, for one. Y'all know what the bystander effect is? The bystander effect is when everybody out this motherfucker is paying attention to what's going on and everybody is expecting the next person to do something. That's, what's, that's the, what the bystander effect is. So you got a lot of motherfuckers standing around. And that's why when one person pulls out their cell phone, everybody does. That's why. Because it's the first action. Because nobody knows what to do, guys. Listen to what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is not television, you idiots. Oh, I'm sorry for calling y'all idiots. Because I, I, now I feel like I'm calling my, my listeners idiots. But not y'all. I'm not calling y'all idiots. I'm, I'm calling the people out there that don't see what the hell is going on. <laughs> they, don't, they don't really see what the hell is going on. Now that, man, that man had made his mind up a long time ago to do what he was going to do. He made it up a long time ago. It ain't nothing that we could have done to stop him from doing that. Nothing. <clears throat> Nobody out there. Nothing. 
something bad was going to happen because nobody knows what to do in that situation because nobody's ever really been in that situation. That's why, <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry for doing the mic, I, I mucus all built up in me, I'm sorry. But that's why you see sometimes when one person springs into action and when they do, they looking around like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Get off y'all phones and somebody call the police. Because the people that's out there hopping on them phones are the people that's, they seen it on TV. And they see on TV and on YouTube and on Instagram and on TikTok that if I get a viral moment, I can go viral. It don't matter who they are. Moms, dads, grandmothers, grandfathers, little kids, teenagers. Everybody's trying to go viral for something. They're trying to be seen and heard for something. Even at your demise. I bet you nobody even calls the police while they out there recording this lady with a fucking big ass knot on the side of the head because the dude hit it with a brick. Who called the police? I bet you nobody did. And that's what I'm talking about right there. The fact that ain't nobody doing what's supposed to really happen next. Oh shit, this baby must be injured. She talking crazy as hell. She can't wait to get on, but, but you can't wait to get your ass online and talk about getting hit in the head with the brick. Where's the rest of the footage leading up to this? <laughs> Who's got it? Because I don't want to, I don't want to assume, but I saw a video of that supposed to be this lady walked up to this man and slapped the shit out of him and walked off and then start twerking. Now, 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 now to make this even more funny to me, because the shit, <laughs> I told you my personality, I'm just different, y'all. To make this even funnier, the, 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 the fact that this shit didn't happen to this lady, you up there talking about this, I ain't never done anything to deserve this, if this is you. <laughs> If this is you that slapped this fucking man, you never did anything. If that's you, it looked like you. You even got the same outfit on in the video. It might be her. <laughs> if, it's, if it's her, I please, I please hope it's her because that way I don't sound insensitive. Insensitive. I don't, it don't fucking matter. She got hit in the head with a brick. Your dumb ass shouldn't have been over there fucking with that man. He shouldn't have been fucking with you like that. You don't do things like that, guys. Please go get therapy so y'all can stop doing shit like this, man. This is not the first time a dude hit a, head in the, in, hit a woman in the head with a brick. I'm telling y'all it's not. And it's not his first time he attacked a woman. It's not. So we got to get that man off the streets. Where's the justice? Who is this man? Was, is he in the video? Because I think I heard something else where it said that he smacked in the head with a brick and then he jumped in the car and drove off. <laughs> Not as even this motherfucker, he know what he doing. He knows what he's doing. He had a clean getaway and everything. He didn't done that shit before. I mean, probably not with a brick, but a rock or something. I mean, something hard. He hit somebody with and jumped in the car and drove off like fucking Dukes of Hazard. And like, what if he had his window rolled down like the Dukes of Hazard? He just ran and just dove into that shit. <laughs> He's just ready to just ran a dive into that shit. He just speed off and he throw his finger out the out the <laughs> out the window. Siren our bitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, look, nobody knows what happened. No, I wasn't there. Anything that somebody says speculation. The story I told is not a true story, guys. Let me give a disclaimer for the one I made up early in this thing, but I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what I thought happened. It's some crazy shit that Deion Sanders, HBCU. Head coach moves over to a Power Five conference and wins a big his first game ever. First game with Colorado, and we talking about a lady getting hit in the head with a motherfucking brick. <laughs> that overshadowed everything. That just like stopped everything. Labor Day, nothing. Nobody talk about none of that shit. This is the lady getting hit in the head with the brick. The boy Deion Sanders did some outstanding shit. That shit was spectacular. That's why I'm wearing the fucking jersey today. Because I want to go here and, and celebrate that man. This is not a bandwagon. This is this is me acknowledging a black man for doing an outstanding job. And I think we need to do more of that with our lives instead of hating on each other. Give it up to that man. There should be nobody out there trying to find a reason to talk down on him. I don't give a fuck. Don't be talking about, well, look how many points he allowed. And, and, and look at this and that. What the fuck you talking about? That motherfucker won. We can go make the adjustments. Right now, let's talk about this victory. We come and talk to me about the motherfucking O's. The X's won the goddamn game. The O's. We ain't talking about them bitches. We talking about the X's and we won, motherfucker. What is what, the, what is this? What really is this? 
Let's talk about that. Don't come talk to me about this. This motherfucker threw for over 500 yards. His son, Shadir, that's his name? I need to learn their names. I feel bad if I don't know their names. Talk about them like this, but fuck it. I'll look it up later. I don't know. Y'all know their names. But anyway, <laughs> the motherfucker went off for over 500 yards. Let's talk about that. Any a black man from HBCU. Let's talk about all that shit. What are we doing? There shouldn't be no talk about nothing else out there in the world. Why the fuck is this lady getting hit in the head with a brick overshadow and everything? It's a bitch getting hit in the head with a brick right now. That shit ain't got making the goddamn news. Anybody talking about that shit? You want to know why? Because anybody got no goddamn camera out there catching it. But you know what they're going to catch? They're going to catch that bitch talking about getting hit in the head with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they gonna catch. But the hell with all that. The hell with all that. Look, I'm look. For everybody who made to this video, I'm sorry for saying that word so many times. I really apologize. I really do. But that lady. Oh my God. What do you expect us to do? You done took all the the news coverage off of Deion Sanders, and you, cause you getting hit in the head with a brick, cause you don't know how to how to tell somebody to leave you alone and walk away. Now we, you know, this sucks. God damn it. But anyway, and then this, this, this Travis Hunter dude. Look, D, look, Dion has a brand new formula. And everybody called that man crazy for doing it. They look, they called him, look, I bet you the timeline. They called him crazy for going to get these inner city youth kids and trying to make a difference with their lives. They called him crazy when he started putting them into athletics. They called him crazy when he was like, I'm finna retire. They called him crazy when he said, I'm finna come back. They called him crazy when I'm finna go and become a football coach. High school. They called him crazy. They called him crazy, I'm finna go coach at HBCU. HBCU, what the hell for? Why you want to go over there to them? Call him crazy for going and accepting the job to go to Colorado. They call that man crazy every single damn time. But nobody pointed out the fact that this man elevated from the ranks. And that's why he is going to get some of the best athletes on the motherfucking planet to come to Colorado. Watch. That motherfucker is going to win a national championship within the next two to three years. I'm not playing with y'all. Seriously, because if I'm a father of my 17, 18 year old and I see how Dion protects those kids, y'all want to talk about fucking protecting goddamn black women. Let's talk about protecting our black boys, too. You see how this motherfucker protects those kids? I'm your daddy out here if you ain't got one. I'm treating you like I treat my children. Y'all don't know how that feels. That's why all them fucking people left the school when he got over there. They weren't ready to deal with no shit like that. A real man. They're not ready to deal with a motherfucker that's going to come in there and treat you like I'm your father. My father don't even treat me like this. A lot of kids say that. Nigga, my daddy don't even act like this with me. He needs to. Because then you would be talking back to an adult right now. What the fuck are we doing? Dion is the fucking prototype. This is the blueprint for all y'all, all the people out there that didn't try to do this shit. Go and look at how many goddamn black coaches that came into this game. How long motherfucker coached at Grambling? Did he go coach in the NFL? Did he go coach at a big name college? Where is he? Where are any of them? Because they didn't really fucking believe. They were just taking a goddamn incentive. I'm a black man that got a little bit of motherfucking coaching up under me. And y'all going to accept me because I'm all about the people. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all was mad as shit for Dion coming over there and leaving, talking shit about him. For what? Accepting a job to help more children? Fuck y'all goddamn parents. Get your kid better and send him to Colorado. Don't send him to fucking Jackson State. Who gives a fuck? They going to get an education. I don't want to hear shit about no fucking HBCU shit. It's not about HBCU. It's about them going to get their fucking education. If y'all want these HBCUs to, to thrive and survive, why the fuck y'all not donate money to them? Where are they boosters and shit like that? That's why these big name schools got so much money because they got a lot of people with money behind them. You fucking kidding me? University of Texas? Have you fuckers been to Austin? Ever? And I'm not talking about just 6th Street, taking your ass up the fucking hills up there to, to Lakeway and shit like that and seeing these fucking mega mansions up there. The fuck with infinity pools and shit. They got motherfucking boat shit attached to their houses. What the fuck you talking about? Them niggas is products of UT. What are you talking about? 
That's where all that money comes from. From the motherfuckers that went there. So you show me any of these HB shoe. <laughs> you show me any of these HBCU motherfuckers that's actually giving back to these schools. Show them to me. Where the fuck they at? Where they at? No, I don't want to see. I don't want y'all talking about the motherfucker that did the shit for the Morehouse people. I'm talking about where is it on a consistent basis? Why do the fucking locker rooms and everything look like they fucking high school shit, middle school? What the fuck is going on with the facilities? Why this school didn't get anything until Dion came over and they still really didn't get anything? He was spending his own goddamn money. You think you want to keep spending your fucking money? For a cause, if the cause don't believe in you, fuck y'all. I'm here for these kids, not you. It's hard to change an adult's mind. It's hard. Because they think they know everything. They're still alive. They still have something going for them. That's why they think they keep doing it right. No, you're not. You're doing it. Your ass is steady fucking up. And now I got a whole new formula that can make things right. And you're trying to piss on that shit too. You can't see it because you ain't got no vision. And none of you motherfuckers saw Dion's vision. Why the fuck you think he was at HBCU to begin with? He got to get his foot in the door. That's the mentality. You let me get my foot in the door, it is a fucking wrap. I don't care where I started at. I started, and I'm still going. And look where I'm at now. Look at me now. I'm getting paper. <laughs> That's What the fuck are we talking about? Seriously? A bitch getting hit in the head with a brick or Deion Sanders over here becoming the premier coach of college. He's the face of that shit right now. And they don't want to admit it. One, because he's a motherfucking black man. And two, because he's a motherfucking black man. And three, he a black man that know what the fuck is up. He know he him. That's a problem. When a motherfucker know that he him. Oh, all y'all like to talk about, man, that's him. That's Hemi. Hemi, Hemi Butler and all this other bullshit. No, 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 no. That motherfucker, Dion, is that, that nigga, that nigga know something. He know something. Trust that boy know something. And you motherfuckers need to fucking know or try to know him or know what the fuck he know because god damn it, Dion is saved. And he giving the fuck back to them kids because that's where it matters. The kids, not you goddamn adults. Y'all ain't finna be running nothing but y'all goddamn mouths. Y'all the ones that put these kids in these situations and not somebody want to come and get it right for them. And y'all don't like the way he doing it. And y'all don't even know how to do it. Get the fuck out the way and let the man come through. That's him. That's him. Dion motherfucking Sanders. Then came from what he was. And that's the problem, guys. That's the problem right there. Because where Dion came from, I don't want to put that man's old shit out there. If you got a problem with that, go look it up for yourself. I'm not going to talk on that man. Not him. I talk about me. But Dion wasn't the motherfucking prototype person. He wasn't the prototype person. And now that he is everything right now, people can't see him for what he is today. Look, it's very hard for people to want to take advice from you when they know who you were. So I want you to think about that the next time you keep trying to give somebody advice and they don't listen. It's the reason why they don't listen. Because it's a time when you didn't listen and they still feel you that way. Because they know you. Wink, wink. They have no fucking idea. That's why Dion is doing what he's doing. They don't know this man. <laughs> they don't know who he is today. They knew who the fuck he was. They knew who he was, but they didn't know who he is today. Today, right now. And that's the one that y'all should be focused on. Look, Madden season is here. Football season's here. That's why I'm rocking a jersey and supporting Dion. And I'm rocking a jersey because I'm from Houston, not, we're a, a city that actually has a team. So that's why. Because <laughs> I really don't give a fuck about who wins or loses anymore. I just want to see a great game. If I'm going to be entertained, motherfucker, I better, I better get my bang for my buck for giving y'all two and a half hours of my life right now. Y'all better, better go out there and show the fuck out. Otherwise, I'm not wasting my time. But guess what? That time is here. And it's, it's, it's side dudes' favorite time of the year. Because they, they with your women right now. <laughs> I'm telling you something. Every one of y'all men out there, if your woman don't get mad when NFL season come around anymore and when Madden come out, if they don't get mad anymore, I'm telling you, they got somebody else. <laughs> 
That is a big time speculation. I know I probably fucked up a lot of people's heads right now when they hear that shit. But seriously, they probably got somebody else. Seriously, I'm, I'm telling you, Madden come around. Side dudes be so goddamn happy when they come out there because y'all boys be glued to the fucking Madden. You're glued to all the football games. Look, I almost got back invested in fantasy football. I'm glad I didn't because I got something else going on right now. And when I do fantasy, I do it like I do life. 100%. You're pulling up fucking multiple screens, checking to see stats from last year and the odds and, and, and seeing what they, they, who's on the roster right now, who, seeing who they, they schedule the play is. I was all over that shit. And I'm telling y'all, all the women out there, that's what y'all dealing with. Them man is, that's what he is. His whole fucking mindset changes when the NFL season comes and college season. Don't get me wrong, we some good shit out there, but y'all need to learn how to fucking take one from the other. If you get mad at motherfuckers, people, if you get mad at another person just because a team that you like has lost, something is wrong with you. You are the motherfucker that's going to hit somebody in the head with a brick. <laughs> Can you imagine that motherfucker? You know what? He probably mad that one of his teams had lost the game or something like that. He mad they ain't covered the spread, and now he'd hit your ass in the head with a brick. <laughs> I done brought this shit back to that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's the hottest thing out right now. This lady getting hit in the head with the brick. I got to get my take on it. That and that show on HBO. Has any of y'all seen that? We going to end this with that. It's a show on HBO called... Um, the fuck is it called? BS High? BS High, right? This man then created a fake football team, a fake university, and had these kids sign up at his fake university and pay him real money. Real money. Oh, my God. Look, I'm watching that show with my wife, <clears throat> and I'm sorry because some shit is just... You deserve to have this dumb shit happen to you. All these, you mean tell me now one of you goddamn kids looked up this school to see if it was real before you went there? None of y'all, none of y'all got with each other and was like, bro, this shit's not even a real school. What the fuck we doing right now? We not studying. Nigga, we staying in, in hotel rooms. Not dorms, hotel rooms. Because this man knew that he didn't have to pay you in, in for 90 days. He get 90 days rent free. 90 days rent free. Ching. I'm about to take advantage of it. We're going to get the fuck out of here before the 90 days is up. This motherfucker had a... Y'all got to watch this shit, man. It's, it's, it's incredible. The nerve of this dude. The nerve. My God. The nerve of this man to do that shit to these fucking kids. And the nerve of these damn kids to get up there and act like I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Get the fuck out of here. The ones that's... Uh, you motherfuckers are the Juco. It's a Juco dude playing for a goddamn high school, guys. This motherfucker is a sophomore in Juco. He's 20 years old. Listen, th this man made a football team with grown-ass men on that bitch, and they was losing to high school kids. <laughs> You gotta, you can't, you can't make this shit up. They was losing the fucking high school kids. This motherfucker lost. They scored one point, one touchdown. And my wife talking about, oh look, at least they scored a touchdown to get them. Motherfucker, what? They should have been scoring a lot more than one touchdown. They grown ass men. They in their twenties playing football with these 15, 16 year olds. What is happening? This, you motherfuckers don't deserve to be in college playing nobody's sports. You want a second chance? What the fuck is this? This is not second chance you. That's what the fuck they thought. They thought they can go do this shit and it was going to be something like that. You can't tell me. You cannot be that gullible. And, and for the motherfucking mama who was out there acting like a goddamn physical trainer, you knew what the fuck was going on too. Trying to get your goddamn son in the grambling and when they find out about the shit, he can't go to school. And you think that's a problem. You think you're, I'm sorry. You think that's not a problem. You knew what the fuck was going on. You was, this thing don't have no, he has no credits about him playing no football, none of that shit. He went to this fake university. They grambling, accepted him. Listen, the same goddamn school, I'm telling you right now, they accepted a motherfucker from a fake high school to go play football for them. 
And y'all got a problem with Dia for going into some shit like that and trying to clean it up and then leave it. And you talk shit about them. We the only motherfuckers, black people, the only ones that get out there and talk so much shit about everybody trying to advance their goddamn life. White folk don't do that. They don't do it. They will do everything in their power to make sure that they better than you. Don't give a fuck. The motherfuckers will help the sorriest of the sorry just so that sorry person can be like, I'm better than you. It's a book out there. I want y'all to go find it for your motherfucking self. They truly believe, right, that even the dumbest of dumb white people is smarter than the smartest black person. They believe that shit. That's why they treat us how they do. I don't want to go on that route. They wasn't even trying to do it. Talk about this goddamn coach over here. And see, still talking shit about my people instead of talking shit about them. <laughs> Because y'all don't want to hear shit about them. You want to hear shit about y'all people. That's why you, you, you glued to the tube. Y'all going to go look up this goddamn movie when you find out. Go look the shit up. It's hilarious. I laughed the whole goddamn time because y'all some stupid motherfuckers that let this shit happen to y'all. Nigga, you are done with high school. What the fuck you doing going back? You can't tell me you didn't know that shit was fake. You can't do no shit like that. Huh? This motherfucker took a PPP loan out in the kid name. I think it was... Either twenty thousand or two hundred and twenty thousand. Anyway, he took a PPP loan not in a kid's name. That dude was like, I ain't know that was what the fuck. Like what? You gave somebody your social security number. Where your mama and daddy at? Where's your mama and daddy at? They're just some things that people should know. Some things that the parents should know. But I'm telling y'all, they saw a way out, and they didn't care if it was. Legit or not, they saw a way out. Everybody does it, just like the white folks when they was paying that money for their kids to go to school. They saw a way out and they took it. They knew they was doing wrong. Cha-ching, there we go. Now, I can relate our shit to they shit, so you don't think that they shit is any different from ours. The difference is, is that it's on a higher scale. They working to get their kids into college and y'all working to get y'all kids out of the fucking hood. That's the difference. Right there. So this, this, that's why it was so easy for this man to do this shit. Because he's trying to get out the hood. Look at all the goddamn kids he done took under his wing to come play football. Don't none of these motherfuckers look football ready. Not none of them. I'm like, what the hell? Where'd you get these people from? Where the fuck did you find them? It's like the sorriest of the sorry that thought they was going to go somewhere. It's that kid that, was, that got all the motherfucking nice-ass football cliques. He got the visors and everything. Motherfucker got the cool-ass mouthpieces and all that shit. And he barely get any playing time. Y'all know y'all had one. Y'all, everybody got one. Everybody. That's who they was. Thought they was going to make it. Hey, man, I still got my hopes and dreams and aspirations of going to play in the league. Why? The league don't even want you there. Fuck all that. It's what you're going to do after the league. <laughs> That's what matters because you're not going to play in the league forever. What's your plans after that? All y'all dodos trying to go to the NFL and think that that's the last stop. That's the ones that end up being broke. Trying to figure shit out. Y'all need to be trying to be like Deshaun Watson and get him a motherfucking agent like David Mugata. They got him a $234 million contract, guaranteed money. You need that. Look, another black man doing some great things, but his shit is overshadowed because they're going to talk about him raping bitches. You see what I'm saying? We can't get nowhere as a black people. <laughs> we can't. It's a goddamn problem, and we got to fix that shit right now, and it starts with uplifting our new heroes. Deion Sanders is a new hero. Fuck it. I'm a new hero. That's how we feel. We feel that there has to be somebody that does this shit because it ain't never been done before, and that's why everybody keep bitching and complaining about their situations because there's nobody that done some shit that can show them that, goddamn, maybe I can do that too. you goddamn right you can because I believe. I believe in all of this. It's all going to work out. All of it. And I'm, I'm waiting to see it happen for all of y'all. I got a frat brother. Kenyon Leno. I got a frat brother. He plays 10th place. 10th place. Right? In the Masters. In the Masters. Body, bodybuilding competition. At the, the, Nash, the big time shit. The Olympia shits. Motherfucker, what? 
Kenyon, did you think when you was at Texas State that you would fucking be a bodybuilder, my nigga, and place in 10th place in the world? That means, nigga, that you got the 10th best body in the motherfucking country. The 10th best body in the country. You went somewhere to go compete in that show. That shit wasn't in fucking Texas or wherever the hell you living right now. You had to get in your car and drive somewhere and catch a goddamn flight to go over there and show your goddamn body off. And you got 10th place. Bravo, motherfucker. Bravo to that man. If y'all know Kenyon Leno, motherfucker, go find him on Instagram. Linux, whatever the fuck it is, hold on, I'm finna look it up for you, Kenyon. I'm, a, I'm doing you a service. This is what this is all about. Uplifting our people. You should pop up in my shit soon because I'm always seeing your motherfucking ass pop up in my shit all the time. And, and this is the one time that the shit don't happen. Hold on. <laughs> it gets like this, guys. It really does. Where the fuck is it? How is it this hard? There it is. Get that, fuck it. It's just Kenya Leno. It's nothing special. I'm sorry. I just said the motherfucking name that many times. But go and follow that man and follow his journey. He's 10th. He's going to be first place because he got somebody that believes in him. And all he got to do is believe in himself. He got 10th place. He's just nine spots away from being the best, motherfucker. And that shit is possible. Why is it possible? Because one day he started and he believed in himself. And he prepared for the journey. And he had special people there with him. And that's why that man is making it. And I hope that goddamn dude that did that BS high shit goes to fucking prison for a very long time for fucking them kids over. But at the same time, kids, y'all some ignorant motherfuckers for not going to check and see if this shit was real. Your parents and y'all all knew what the hell was going on. I'm sorry, baby. I know how you feel. But I'm telling you, logic states that they knew. It ain't no way you can get that many people together and somebody not know that y'all doing some illegal shit. Y'all knew it. Get the hell up out of here. Dion's the man right now. Give him his kudos. Get that man his roses. Because I'm telling you, I got a kid I want him to go play for Dion. I got a kid I want him to go play for Dion. That motherfucker's going to win a national championship. I'm telling you, within the next two to three years. He's going to get the best of the best over there. You already got Nick Saban complaining about him. That when Nick Saban did that shit, that should have let the whole world know that they was coming. They was coming and now they're here. You understand this? He has a better chance of playing in the national championship with a team like that than he does with that HBCU he was at. He just does. Everything changes. Go look at the video. There's a video of Lil Wayne taking a tour. To, that, to, to their facilities. He in the locker room. He like, God damn. He like, this the locker room? He like, this the locker room? What the fuck? Straight up. Locker room looked like a motherfucking mini mall. Some serious shit they built over there. And you know how that shit looked at Southern? Didn't look like that. Because y'all don't take care of y'all shit like them people do. Take care of y'all shit. It looked the same. And, and women, stop talking back to these men that they they, they highly volatile will fuck you up. Don't get fucked up. <laughs> Don't get fucked up. That man hit that lady in the head with a brick. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I want to see the video. Somebody got to have a video of it up there, out there actually happening. Because they had to be arguing for a good little minute. Somebody got it. They just don't know how to upload it to TikTok yet. <laughs> That, I'm telling you. Or they probably talking to a lawyer and everything before they upload that shit. Because it can be like, remember, she was like, nobody out here helped me. So what the fuck am I talking about? Somebody just don't know what they're doing. Because they would have aired that shit already. They didn't go talk to no lawyer. What I'm talking about. Do y'all see where that shit happened? I don't think anybody out there had education. <laughs> None. Not a lick. All y'all out there just finished high school and said, fuck it. I don't care about nothing else in my life. All y'all just out there watching and taping this broad get hit in the head with a brick. I'm godly. We're going to end on that. No, we're not. We're going to end on the the roses to Kenya Leno, man. He plays 10th, but he going to be first. Watch. You heard it here first. Yo, is this thing on podcast, man? Straight from the heart. Y'all, guys, authentic and we with it. Y'all have a great, 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 great day. Yo, 
hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button to follow your boy for more podcasts, man. Coming soon. We back when I got time, not doing my homework and shit like that. But hey, you gotta make time, baby. It's part of your life. Y'all take care. God bless. God bless you.